Head Rose Coffee here at Camp Collab coming up. They didn't want to listen, so they decided to uh, put all that technology in, in the Gisa. Uh, my first experience in coffee was in San Diego, basically finding a shop to hang out with my friends. Gotcha. Uh, and then uh, this became like a natural thing. Like we'd go hang out at the shop, try to figure out what we're gonna do for the night. It's kind of like cooking, right? So everyone can make risotto, right? <laughs> but each 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 place, I mean, there's like a, a standard baseline to, to do stuff. But then everybody, like each chef or whatever, uh, kind of makes their own or you know puts a unique twist to it. So like the way that I roast. Uh, it's probably not going to be the same exact way that other people roast, just because, number one, uh, the machine that I have is different from other roasters, too. Uh, so it's, it's just slightly different. So the numbers that I use probably won't be the same kind of numbers that will work out for uh, other people. So it just, it just works for me. <laughs> you know what? Not everybody can be a roaster, um, just because it is very different from being a barista. Uh, I mean, being a barista, I mean, it, it does take a special kind of person to do it too, but once you're good at it, you can do it when you're sick, you can do it when you're hungover, you can do it without thinking. As long as you can understand what the order is and make it, you're good. Whereas in roasting, uh, you've got to really uh, pay attention. It's more mental. So before you even touch the, the coffee beans, you really have to understand what you're doing and basically think it through like how you're gonna how you're gonna roast that coffee. And the focus that you have, you gotta have the same focus from you know your very first roast to you know your 20 something roast or 30 something roast that day. You gotta be that you know have that same focus. So any kind of anything that makes it if you're not focused and anything changes, I mean well that flavor profile is gonna change too. Uh, I have a vacuum system, mm -hmm. so instead of like uh, dumping over my head mm -hmm. into here, there's a vacuum system that sucks it up through the tube and oh, into the hopper. Uh, so you see, you'll see this uh, fill up, and then you'll see the coffee's being sucked down. Restaurant for already about a little over an hour now, so I kind of like to have it uh, at like a really nice, good radiant heat. Uh, we're probably close to like 400 right now. So yeah, you can put your like the back of your hand on it. You can feel how. Uh,
the yellow starter to become. Start a, it kind of smells like uh, kind of like wet hay. Mm. Storage high enough coffee that will last you maybe a week, week and a half. Uh, become friends with the, the barista that's selling you the coffee because uh, they'll be able to uh, ask you the right questions of uh, what you like, what you don't like, and give you good recommendations and of uh, what kind of coffee you get. Investing like in a pretty good grinder is definitely one. Uh, you definitely want to uh, grind that coffee before you uh, brew it, rather than brew the Try that whole entire bag and just scoop it out every time you use it. Uh, you want it like really nice and fresh. Now, this is where you change that too. You have the sugar start to uh, caramelize. Uh, kind of pay attention to uh, a certain part of the roast. Especially when you start hearing like snap, snap, crack, and pop. That's when uh, I hit first crack. And that's where I'm really trying to. Uh, uh, pay attention to that, uh, pay attention to that road. Now well, that's, uh, change the color, it's starting to look a little more like coffee. Alright, here you go. Same thing in the, you know, behind the scenes in the coffee, coffee shop. Customers sit down, they enjoy the coffee, enjoy the atmosphere, but behind the scenes you got, you know, people telling the barista to hurry up, you know, get this out, I need this, I need that. It's just like any other restaurant. You know, mom and pop shops, like husband and wife who love coffee and decide to do their own thing, but, you know, maybe the, the husband was like, say, a car salesman and the wife was like a nurse and like oh yeah let's go let's use our money and open up a shop and the only experience is just ordering coffee from a drive through or from a shop and it's like yeah so they can only get so much training from the sales rep they get they buy their uh, uh, espresso machine from like an hour of training it's not gonna be enough to really understand the full fundamentals of coffee they might hire like a barista that's been doing it for a couple of months or a year and you know they know how to make coffee but they don't understand like running a shop so it's you know there's a lot of a lot behind running a shop and uh, making coffee and business totally different things project how do you see yourself in the future you know two or three years uh, I'd say uh, bigger projects in the, in the works. Um, going to uh, do an origin trip, going to uh, actual coffee farms, see how a lot of the coffee is processed and whatnot. And that'll be really cool. Uh, no, I'm not going to be a farmer, but it would be kind of cool to go to an actual origin trip and see where uh, the coffee's coming from and meet the farmers, producers, you know, and see the whole uh, start to finish and do like the whole complete circle. With Samba Latte, the, the, since the owner's from Brazil, we actually have like a really good relationship with some of the farmers there. So uh, eventually I'll be going down there to, to meet some of these uh, farmers and producers and you know uh, learning a little bit about uh, their history. Because some of these farms have been in their 
been in her family for you know generations. So it'll be kind of nice to uh, check that out. Uh, I'm on Instagram, CJ Parlade. C J P A R L A D E. That's me. Really easy to find. Not really on Facebook, even though I'm on there. I, I hardly ever check that stuff. <laughs> so don't. You can try to add me. You can like look for my page, but there's really nothing on there. Most of my stuff is on Instagram. Um, or you can just come visit me here in Las Vegas at uh, Monte Carlo. Uh, Samba Latte right here in front of the strip. We've got like a great view of the strip right here. This is my great office. <laughs>